We all know that we should be blogging. The whole purpose of a blog on our website is to generate traffic, to constantly be offering some new information, something tangible to help people move their business forward. And the best way of doing that is cre creating a blog and publishing it. Well, the good news is it is super easy to do if you're using Go High Level or uh, Funnel Gorgeous or any of the other white labeled programs out there. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a blog. Now, right now I'm inside of my funnel gorgeous slash go high level. And along the side to the left here, you'll see where it says sites. Make sure that you click on that. And then up at the top, you'll notice where it says blogs. All right. So once you click that, you're taken to this window and in the upper right hand is a button to create a new post. Now, there's really two components when you're creating a blog. The first step is you create the blog, give it a name, upload the picture, all of that kind of stuff. And then the second piece is to actually tie it into your website. So that's what we'll cover in this video. So let me just click new post. And when you do that, uh, you'll give your post a title, upload an image, note the recommended size, the alt tech and um, the post description. And that's 100 to 250 characters, which is kind of the preview of what the blog is all about. So let me fill all of that in. I'll put a uh, pause on here and I'll meet you back in a second. So I'm I'm back and you'll notice that I have created the title, uploaded the image, and then I've also added some alt text here. Now, a little tip, make sure that you use some of your uh, research keywords in the alt text here. So my picture is a woman uh, making notes. So instead of just saying that, this is a woman entrepreneur creating systems in her business because this blog post is all about systems. And then in the description, again, uh, keep it brief, but make it uh, tantalizing so that they want to click on it to read. So we filled that out. Now we are going to create our post. And once we get into the post, it's like there's a placeholder here. So if you scroll down, you'll notice that there's uh, headers, there's pictures. What I'm gonna do is just erase all of that and add my uh, block of text. So I'm gonna pause this, get rid of this, and then you can watch me add all of my text. Now, the next step, I had an article that I had written and I actually took that article and put it inside of ChatGPT and asked uh, Chatty to help me uh, make the article even better. So then I got all of that content, did some editing, and then I just pasted it into the blog. Now, once you have the information in here, you can modify it however you want. So up here at the top, notice we have the bold italics. We can change whatever the font, the size of the font, and then also what level of text. So this uh, very top one here is heading one. Then you'll notice that I put in a heading two, uh, change it back to heading two there. Um, and then these are just paragraphs. So what I'll do at this point is I'll just take a few minutes and kind of tweak this uh, so that it looks really nice. And again, people are usually visual learners. So if you wanted to insert some images here, use bullet text or numbered text, lots of bolding to keep drawing the person's eye down so that they'll read the entire blog. All right. When you get all done, the nice thing, if you look up here at the very top right, it will tell you how many words are in this uh, blog. So that's always good too. If you're uh, building up like two or three uh, foundational blogs, uh, that's really uh, chucked full of all of your pertinent keywords and stuff you can just keep an eye on the keywords there. So let me pause this for a minute and finish filling this out and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So I uh, added some uh, formatting options here, went through uh, in real life, I probably will add one or two more pictures, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna continue. So I had saved it and now we can just click continue here. 
And now this is where you will finish filling out this information. And notice the blog post, this is all of the SEO details. So the slug, this is what the URL will look like, okay? Now, one thing to note is um, you can't change this slug later. So, uh, you know, for this, you'll have to redo the whole blog over again. So just uh, take a note here and if you wanna modify it, whatever you wanna do. But again, uh, these URLs are also searched. So you can, um, you know, put in a couple of your uh, research terms here if you want it, if it makes sense for the title. And then the category, you can add, uh, basically add categories to your uh, blog. So here I just have uh, FG Funnel Gorgeous Training and Tips. I have General. If you wanted to create a new catalog, uh, you just do that and you, again, give it a label. So whatever your business is, you can come up with different uh, categories here and then it will add it to the end of this. And then again, you can give descriptions for your categories and also you can have images, little thumbnail for your categories. I'm not gonna do that uh, for today. I am just going to uh, pick the general one here. All right, and then add whatever your uh, keywords are, uh, your different uh, research keywords. And again, chat uh, GBT is a, a good choice here because you can ask, uh, after you get assistance on your blog, ask for some of the keywords. So again, I'm just gonna pause and finish filling this out. So you can see now we've got the URL slug. I've added a category, um, the keywords. Let me add the keywords here, the author. Now you can have multiple authors if you want. Uh, for my blog, I'm the only author. And then uh, you can keep this as a draft to go back and continue to work with it, or you can publish it, or you can schedule a date to publish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish it here. And in uh, just a second, uh, now we'll talk about incorporating this inside of your uh, website. Okay, now the second part, we've created the blog and I went ahead and clicked the save button to publish it, uh, to publish it now and not in the future. Now, inside of your funnel or your website, you need a dedicated page. It's the best way for your blogs and it's recommended that you use the header and also your standard footer. So that way, wherever people are at, they can always get to the blog page, but also they can get back to the home page. And then what you will want to do is you will want to create the little section uh, for your blog post. So basically you will, um, you'll notice that I have it, uh, have it here. If you come up to elements and add an element and what you're adding is the blog post list. All right. So that's what this is. I won't add it since I've already got it. And then once you have that there, you have some decisions. You can create a standard one where it's got a little picture and then some text or a compact. And when, if you click the compact, it's got a small picture and then uh, the text is this way. You can change what it says here instead of more stories, whatever you want. And then again, over here on the uh, left side, you can select if you want all of your categories to show, you could just say all post. Notice I had a test category, so I don't want that to show up. So I'm just for right now uh, showing these two uh, categories. All right, if I can get this to close. Let me just back out of that. Then on the pagination, that is how many do you want to show up? Um, you know, the little thumbnails, three or six, uh, I wouldn't go more than six. If you have it in the condensed, you know, you can have those uh, laid out. And again, down here is where you can change the text instead of more stories, uh, click to read more, uh, whatever it is. All right. So let me, uh, let me just save this back here and I will save this page and then we'll do a quick little preview.
So now here are the three blogs. Now this was a blog post that I had written way back in September. Uh, notice it gives us the little information here. It tells us uh, approximately how long of a read it is. And then now here's the one that I just published. It's an eight minute read. And again, if somebody's looking at this, then you, they can click more and it will take them so that they can uh, read the rest of it. My system's kind of slow, so it's not loading it, of course, because I'm doing a, a video here. So, but you get the idea. All right. So let me just come back here. And so that's it. So to recap, uh, when you, let me back out of here, when you're going to create your blog posts, you'll come up to the, um, if this refreshes, you'll come up to the top and just get into um blogs and you'll write your blog you'll come up with your seo uh, keywords all of that kind of stuff and then when you're ready to publish it come over here to your websites to your blog page and um you know you're good to go and as you're once you get this set up as you're uh, adding your blog posts it We'll just continue to add them, the most current one to the left. So I hope this video has been helpful and uh, go write some blogs, tag me. I would love to see what you come up with. Take care.